Okay, hello, good morning everyone. So welcome back to another video from uh, Malab and Simling. So today video, we are going to learn about the motor handbook of uh, Infineon technology, which is very famous for the manufacturing um, all the semiconductor. So first, thank you very much for the Infineon to making this uh, hand handbook for all the community. So you can visit the Infineon website here at uh, infineon.com to see all their product. So basically, they, uh, as we can see uh, from uh, Wikipedia, Infineon Technology is a uh, German uh, semiconductor manufacturer found in the early 2000. So when the semiconductor operation of the former parent company uh, uh, Siemens, actually from uh, Siemens, were, were spun off. So Infineon now have, uh, has over uh, 400 of uh, 4600 employees over the world and one of the 10th uh, largest uh, semiconductor ma uh, manufacturing worldwide. So thank you for, uh, very much for making this uh, uh, handbook and this uh, video to real. So we, uh, as you can see from the their website, so they have all product about the power electric and all the driver. Uh, all the power uh, conversion and automotive uh, application also so you can see here and you can some see uh, some application of them so all of them is automotive uh, domain or communication uh, consumer solution security or industrial so uh, you can uh, visit this at uh, if you know website and uh, check out all the product and all the documentation so come back to the video today, we will uh, see all the electric motor to be used in uh, electric vehicle based on this uh, motor handbook. So the other of this handbook is the uh, if from the Institute of Power Electric and Electrical Drive. Uh, so thank you very much. So and really this in, the, in 2019, uh, three years ago. So first we will look at the contents. Alright, so look at the content right now. We can see the uh, they introduce to us uh, one, two, three, four, five, or six, uh, even even more, even uh, so I can say the ten uh, electric motor. So first one we will usually see the induction machine. The second one the permanent magnet uh, synchronous machine, which is short by uh, PM and FM motor. Uh, the third one is synchronous reluctant machine, which is um, yeah, and the next one, they're talking about the DC machine uh, and put this uh, DC machine, which is served by BRC motor. And then we have the switch reluctant motor, which is sort of um, SRM. And the final one is the step motor. They talk about the motor structure and the function description. And the, other, and the last one, or the basic principle of electric machine. Position sensor also in the electric machine and vector control also, and they talk about the loss and efficiency and temperature of glass of winding insulation and cooling of my electric machine. Okay, so with over one hundred uh, page, you can uh, see a lot a lot of knowledge about the electric motor. So if you want to uh, to see this handbook, you can uh, go to their website or do you like to comment to me? Or you leave the email address, I will uh, send you all the uh, handbooks uh, to the email. Okay, so let's uh, first uh, look at the introduction. So I will uh, take a little bit later. Okay, so they, uh, they of course, the, the handbook here of about the LG machine for sure and the high level oriented uh, regarding the different kind of motor. So all the motor, you will see the structure and functionalities, the characteristic and the control, and the feature and rating, and also strength and the weightiness and um, application. Okay, so uh, the content of this handbook is based on data uh, from the lecture notes and technology book of electric machine and fully accessible internet resource. So okay. So here, uh, they also compare between the older electric machine. So you can see compare from the efficiency, uh, the high speed, uh, capability, and torque uh, density, and other power densities, control efforts, and maintenance demand also. 
and their power factor, the cost, the uh, rotor initial, and the noise and ripple of uh, rotor. So you can see all the one. Uh, so you can see the seven, uh, seven motor which is uh, compared here. So first, uh, let's talk about the induction machine for the first. And you can see here is the picture. I will uh, zoom a little bit, a uh, bigger a picture of uh, induction machine. Uh, so the figure one shows us for the induction motor with starter and rotor. And figure two is the distribute winding, uh, starter, and you can see it's different from uh, figure three. So, okay, so next one, uh, you can see the uh, the structure of the uh, rotor, the uh, square cage rotor for the induction machine. So we can see all the sharp, all the bearing, all the cooling fan, and uh, lamination for uh, forming and the squirrel cage yes yeah and all the bearing here and next one we will have we will see the uh, the cross section of the sukiko uh, square cage rotor with the drop set bar yeah and the next one we will see the description of uh, the figure one so a supply arrangement of the starter and the rotor and the starter contain the excited and winding and um, Yes. Next one, we will talk about the motor characteristic and motor control of the EM machine. Uh, so, um, of course, because the difference between the rotor frequency, as you know, and the rotor frequency of the market field in the starter, so you uh, so um, it define the slip uh, frequency. So uh, the slip frequency X uh, is the ratio between the slip uh, frequency and the starter magnetic uh, field frequency. Okay, so next one we will see the all the top uh, VS uh, speed diagram of the induction motor and the influence of uh, star, uh, starter resistance. Uh, so in the page uh, 14, we will see the structure of a uh, fuel-oriented uh, drive structure We get very famous in uh, this uh, channel We talk a lot about the F4C control for all the uh, machine So you can see here all the reference, all the results And we see the operating RAM of the induction machine It's very very informative uh, in this handbook, I think so Okay, so in the final, we will see the order, the strength and the weakness of um, the induction machine. So basically, the EM has a very good uh, power factor uh, from the uh, 0.75 uh, to uh, 0.9. So ratio of nominal speed and uh, to the maximum speed of uh, induction machine is between uh, 3 to uh, 5 due to the is reasonable uh, fear weakening uh, range. So we can see here, all um, in contrast to PMM motor, uh, the inaction machine is more efficiency in the fuel um, weakening uh, operation. Okay, we will uh, take a, um, a rest a little bit before we go into the PMM, the second motor. And the second uh, motor about this handbook, uh, they, are, they are talking about the PMM, which is uh, short for the the permanent magnet uh, synchronous uh, machine. So uh, as you can see from uh, figure uh, 19, you can see the cross section of the silent uh, interior permanent magnet uh, synchronous, we uh, uh, short for the S uh, IPMLM uh, motor. So for the PMLM, we have the uh, silent, we um, the inside, and uh, the other one is the outside. We uh, stand for the SPM uh, SM motor. So here you can see all the starter and the um, the the the, um, the surface mount uh, for the permanent magnet uh, synchronous machine. This one and uh, yes, this one. This one is uh, present for the IPM and this one is present for the SPM. Uh, non silent uh, the SPM and this one for the IPM. Yes, sorry. Right. And the next one, we will talk about the motor structure and um, the functional description. So for the similar to the DC machine, 
the PMM uh, or the synchronous machine can provide the torque uh, when the rotating the electromagnetic field and the constant uh, field are standing um, uh, still the relative to each other so to develop the constant torque in the synchronous uh, machine the start off field must uh, rotate uh, with the rotor because the each station winding and its field are uh, fixed to the rotor so we will see all the functional and motor structure description in the page uh, 40, uh, 24 so let's talk about the concentrate and uh, distribute the winding uh, symptom so here you can see the uh, simulate the animation of the winding symptom and next one we will talk about the motor characteristic and uh, the motor uh, the motor control Yes, we talk about the short circuit operation, also the fuel weakening uh, region, and the trapezoidal control, also at a six step control uh, for the PMLM, and voltage over frequency, or also as the VF uh, control, and also the fuel oriented uh, for PMLM. Uh, of course, they, uh, they talk uh, a little bit, the uh, summary for the FOC, um, wiki, the, also the factor control. Uh, the FOC provides better efficiency at a higher speed than the scenario control. Also, the at uh, efficiency even during the transition operation by the perfectly maintaining the starter and rotor flux. So we can do some uh, note feature and rating and also the application and uh, strength and weakness. So compared to the uh, induction motor, uh, so the highest efficiency in base uh, speed operation. So also the high top weight uh, ratio, which is uh, very famous, uh, the advantage for the PMM, and the application they have uh, in the automotive or the industry also. Yes, so they talk a little bit uh, about the all the PMM too. Uh, for the third motor in this handbook, uh, they are talking about the synchronous reluctant machine. Uh, we get the uh, synchronous reactor machine. So uh, first, look at the, the picture here for the cross section of a synchronous machine by the EBB um, and the definition. So this motor is the soft type interior uh, permanent magnet with the RPMs, RPM, but without the permanent magnet. So there are no uh, permanent magnets uh, for the synchronous reactor machine. So therefore, the rotor has silent structure uh, similar to the IPM there without the flux and created by the permanent magnet. And therefore, the machine only generates the, the reluctant torques and does not use the low ramp force. And furthermore, the machine characterizes uh, strongly depend on the rotor design and how uh, the flux uh, battery are placed within the rotor. And uh, in the right side, you can see the, uh, the magnetic flux path uh, simulation for the, this uh, synchronous uh, reluctant machine with uh, anti-clock uh, rotation. And the um, uh, SEN or REM uh, operates by the same converter used for the synchronous induction uh, and the induction machine. And the, furthermore, the same control algorithm uh, to be applied and as the silent uh, PNPN. Okay. So um, they talk about the strength we need for the, this machine. They has the higher efficiency than the inaction machine in the base speed operation uh, due to the uh, no rotor, uh, negligible the rotor loss. They refer to the figure uh, 26. And um, some advantage such as the uh, single uh, machine new goods application for which uh, operate the single Operation, operating points that have pump and a fan and also in the have lower power factor cost fee compared to PMM uh, resulting in uh, necessity of bigger dimension uh, inverter okay and here is application and uh, yes okay and the uh, next nice one is the DC machine to talk about the DC machine and uh, put, put it uh, DC machine so here is a picture very famous uh, by DC machine with the coil uh, and the, the pulse and the rotor okay and same for the structure and the description you can find here and the DC car uh, the motor or uh, characteristic we have the um, three type uh, separate uh, exercise 
Now it's cited Siri uh, Un and Pane Un, a DC uh, machine. And the next motor is the Putnis uh, DC motor. Uh, you can see here, the, in this channel, we will public all, um, some uh, video about how to control the BODC motor. So they uh, talk about the, uh, some here. So the final one is with your laptop machine. So you can see the motor structure here and everything. So they introduce the cost uh, on the SIM is the cost of an efficient motor without need of uh, its uh, expensive uh, material. Uh, because uh, very, they, they have very simple structure as so in a figure here. And both the starter and rotor have the silent pole. So you can see here, all, all starter and rotor is uh, the, um, the winding. And then no permanent magnet or other um, external assignment in the LM. So here you can see some uh, continuous rotation of the, the SIM. And here is the uh, motor characteristic and the motor control and also the equivalent circuit and uh, converter. Uh, the converter is with how to the generate the voltage for the uh, coils. Okay. And here they talk about the current uh, hysteresis uh, control of um, SRI motor. And the next one is step motor. So you can find here all the information about the step motor here. And the last one is electrical, basic the principle of uh, electric machine. Yes, I will uh, go quickly a little bit. Okay, so here are all the list of table and reference. So, so okay, so to be uh, summarized, and uh, so today video we will all review the four and uh, seven, uh, seven type of uh, electric motor. So if you um, want this handbook, so please uh, comment email uh, in the comment section, and I will uh, try to comment as soon as uh, possible to send you all the. Uh, the uh, handbook here or you can go the, uh, visit to the Infinite website to check uh, the application and our uh, documentation so thank you very much for the watching and i see you in the next video